talk now. We ran a clean talk in Jorvik. You must be the Dark Master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, take it up with the Council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hyor and Lufina. You know Hyor and Lufina? What business do you have with them? We know each other from Norway. Bid farewell to that land, but not to old friends. You may be glad to hear they fare quite well in Jorvik. It does not surprise me. They are driven, and so am I. Now I would like to see them again. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Kjor and Yufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. A manor? Kjor and Lufina have done well for themselves. Stretch your wings, Sunan. The third trait of mine taken this week, and with no explanation. Here, this is their home. It's not your Olufina. Scattered scrolls. The thief was looking for something. way that they go. Is this one of the thieves? Hmm. The trail continues. It's me, Lufina. It's Eivor. Eivor? But who sent you? Are you with them? Breathe, Lufina. You're rattled. You know me. I am a friend. Are you? You show up here like this. These people tried to kill me. I heard there was trouble in Jorvik. I have only come to help. On my honor. I'm sorry, Eivor. I did not mean to doubt you. It has been a tense few weeks. Who were they? Why were they after you? They were after this. I do not know what it is, but these men were ready to kill me for it. A poor fellow soldier of Christ. You know him? I've seen a letter like this before, in London. This city is in great danger. Where's your? At the Royal Hall. I will take you there. Pull up your hood. We may not be safe just yet. I shouldn't be seen here. A hood should work. They are still looking for me. Hide low. We can slip past them.
Forgive my intrusion, bud. She can't have gotten far. Look around. Back on track. Let's go. Have you seen a Bajarmian woman? Answer well if you know what's good for you. I, I haven't seen her, I swear. Did you hear something? Keep an eye out. I would say we that we that Look, over there. Is that her? Keep your head down. I think it is safe now. Gods, Eivor. Your arrival could not be better timed. Call it fate. I had hoped our paths would cross again, though I imagined a calmer reunion. We fled one problem only to find ourselves embroiled in another. While King Richie is preoccupied with the money shortage, a group of the has been imposing their will. The ones who attacked you? Yes and no. They are bandits, but someone is controlling them. Look no further than the name on that letter. Killing them is the reason I'm here. But they are colder. They could belong to anyone. Sludge in the streets often drips from the gutters of the halls. When in doubt, look to those in power. You mean the council? Pure is on the council. That works in our favor. Someone we can trust to find the answers we seek. Yes, we are nearly there. I do not see any others. Let's keep moving. This way. What's this? Yor! Yor! Look who has come! It pleases me to see you, old friend. All are welcome here in Jorvik. It's good to find you well, Yor. Both of you. What are you doing here? You have not come all this way for the Yuletide. I've come to warn you, old warrior, about a rut in your city. Three figures, corrupt and dangerous. We should work together to bring them into the light and kill them before they come to power. However I may help, I am ready. Slow yourselves. Eivor, we cannot just go running around the city, poking and prodding and killing at will. They nearly did me, Jor. What? These people sent the Red Hand after her, ready to shed blood in your streets to keep themselves a secret. But they failed. Uh, this is the letter that was sent to our home. The needle... The Firebrand, the Vault. They belong to a group called the Order of Ancients. These are their assumed names. Our leads. Listen to him, Yor. He has dealt with their kind before. Corruption has seeped its way into Jorvik. 
But King Rishia's hands are full, which means my hands are full. Counsel on this matter will fall on deaf ears. I do not want his counsel. All I have told you stays between the three of us. But you should introduce me to the king. I will need to align with him if we are to go about this freely. The Picts are winning this war. We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men. Understood, dear Farafin, but we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yuletide must go on. Enough. The more you argue, the more my head hurts. Cure. I was not aware we had company. The likes of which I did not approve. King Rhysia, I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Well, Eivor of the Raven Clan, as you can see, I'm in the middle of something. Hyor, perhaps for lack of better judgment, deems it necessary that you interrupt. Why? You have a problem in Jorvik. Yes, I'm looking at it. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. Lufina was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property, and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again! She survived, but the Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? Are you some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Jarl's Drenger. Took our old camp by the river Nene, as I hear it. I am Farawid, war chief to Haftan Ragnarsson, and this well-fed wastrel is Aldun, High Reef of Jorvik. I have seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait, and the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. If left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want. Not what Hafton wants. Oh dear. What do you want? Tell me what you know about the Red Hand and I will rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city. Targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you said. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor. Do what you can, but do it quietly. I do not want the public alarmed. Kyo, send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. And make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have... Find it. I have spoken. tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's hoard? Come, I will take you back to Lufina. She will know where to begin. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. It went well enough. Rishi will stay out of my way. No one can argue the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. The circle of trust must stay between the three of us. You will forgive me for stepping away. I grow weary of those pissing contests. Uh, my love, I am sorry for what happened. I should have been there. Nonsense. You have your duties to fulfill. Besides, a few bandits is hardly something to worry over. I am only glad you were not harmed. Eivor, I will be around if you need me. Once you catch the tail, you do not let go. Old habits die with the struggle. Yours changed. Softened. <laughs> Politics. It takes the Norse out of a Norse. I'm happy for him. And you as well. You have made something of yourselves here. Perhaps. What do you have there? Christian texts, the Gospels, Ecclesiastes, the Revelation of John. The Red Hand steals all they can find. We may run the city now, but the Christians must still be allowed to worship as they see fit. Seems the Red Hand disagrees. What's more, Althon is worried they will come for the Archives next. Between this and all the uproar at the harbor, I would say we have some leads.
What does the Red Hand want with Christian texts? That is the question. Whatever it is, there is no length they will not go to to retrieve them. They have even burned people alive who refuse to hand over what they demand. Where is the largest collection of texts in the city? The archives. But they haven't been so bold as to attack it yet. Aldon keeps a close eye on the place. I will try my luck there. I went by the harbor when I first arrived. The Duckmaster looked wary when I asked about you. That does not surprise me. He's been using Jorvik's money shortage to increase taxes. As if he's been ordered to by the Council. Jor would never wrong the people like that, even if Rishie demanded it. The Dark Master is a thief and a liar. A man in need of a throttling. I will have another look around the harbor. Try the Trade Depot. It's where he's holding the merchant's wares. I'll get started at once. No, I need you here. Listen to the voices in this hall. Look for any signs, changes in behavior, anything. I would swallow a horse heart to join you, Eivor. I know, old friend. Your loyalty is why I need you here. I will return when I find something. brings you to our archives. I've come to ask about these Christian texts. Lufina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. Mm, and destroying them? I fear they will attack these archives next. The Abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg, this is Eivor, our honored guest from the South. Eivor has offered to help rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? An abyss does not strike me as a suitable choice against a gang of ruthless bandits. It is my duty to protect the role of Christianity in our lives. Texts like this Gospel of Matthew were created for more than just perusing. They are a gift. They spread the word of God, and it is that which must be preserved, whatsoever the cost. I admire your resolve. But unless the Red Hand is dismantled, they will continue to harm those in possession of these texts. The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else. That much is clear. 
the Abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the Rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion, and the Bishop. He has been sneaking around the Rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The Rectory is on the road to the Minster. I should look for the Bishop there. Here's the rectory. The abbess. Here's the rectory. The abbess said she suspected secrecy among the priests and bishop. Seems quiet. Where is everyone? Stop! Ah, enough! Ah, leave me be, please! What has you doused in sweat and trembling so? The, the red hand. They're everywhere. Please, I don't want any trouble. Looks as though everyone else has fled this place. So why are you still here? Waiting for the bishop. One of our brothers said he would return soon. That's all I know, I swear it! Where's this other priest? He's locked himself in. That house, just there. Someone is hiding in there. Doubt he'll come out. I'll have to find a way in. Must be blocked from the other side.
死。Musky, been here long, priest? Just who do you think you are, trespassing like this? This is my property you've destroyed. First your property, next your arm. And if you think I will stop there, you're mistaken. What? What do you want from me? I'm looking for the bishop. Where is he? Gone to his quarters. Said he would return once he finished tending to a private matter. But that was some time ago. Show me there. What do you mean to do with him? Now. Lord, forgive me. I knew I should have left with the others. Go, my eyes. Bishop's quarters. What is that burning smell? That's blood. Shit! I have to repair that. Several Christian texts. The Abbas was right to cast suspicion the bishop's way. Blood. There was a struggle here. Charred letter beneath the body. He must have tried to hide it before he died. Ugh, the stench. He looks like searcher's shit. Someone knew the bishop was conflicted and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letters burned, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around. Search every room. They're around here somewhere. It's them. It's the Red Hand. Oh, Lord of mercy. Quiet. Call the Red Hand. I need to leave. to guests. She does not
locked. There must be another way in. The other side must be barred. No place for you, priest. Go now. Blasphemy! Stop this at once. Something troubling you, Father? Abbas, look, they are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this? Because I ordered them to. What? The vellum that burn before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned. But worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this. I won't let you... There's no one to tell. No one who will hear you cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. I want it all destroyed. Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes, by a brand.
impurities and it's our duty oh. to purify the future of your vic beginning of a new chapter, just as the firebrand says. This fire that burns inside, I've always had it, a longing to do something grand and important. But that door was always shut to me, my methods deemed too severe. I was cast out, shunned, scorned. But the Order, they took notice of me, saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand. Not a teacher's tongue. 
This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on, for one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. To Helheim, where cold and crueler fires await. Return to Lufina. She'll want to know about Abbas Ingeborg's involvement. What news do you bring? The Firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was Jorvik's abyss, Inkiborg. Gods, I would never have suspected. Does the orders reach no no bounds? None. And it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. The Abbas sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city, rid Jorvik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that perked my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the North, but those lawless chicks have free roam in our lands as well. Yours said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone-beaten and bloodied. The Howling Mother takes them. Lovina, a moment of your time. And Hure, if he's about. I will be with you shortly. Two more left to hunt. The disputes coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. Something is bound to turn up.
Straight Depot. This must be where the merchants' wares are being kept. supposed to be in the market. I know. Seems like the complaints by the merchants never reach the council. I cannot believe this. Black cloth on their stores. Gods never do. Someone else will take care of it. You are playing with fire. The needle is known to sting for far less than this. agenda. Accumulating wealth. The sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. So, the Dark Master seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. Flash some silver to the merchants. That should get their attention. Keep your focus. There was trouble at the depot earlier. What do you mean, trouble? I will eat your eyes and make soup of your bones! If any of these peddlers gives you a hard time, remind them just who it is they work for. Oh, with pleasure. I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver path through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master? Sorry, who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigori. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please, go. 
Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Oh, me? <laughs> Please. I have a bigger sword than a lot of them. Be my eyes, Sunan. Welcome. I will see you later, friend. Survey the area, Sunan. Empty carts, and a black cloth marking the house. This is the place. Hmm, locked. Hiding among the rats, Needle. Fitting. Place is heavily guarded. The sound of metal. A workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? They're melting the silver into bars and coins. What do they plan on doing with it? I promise. I promise you your silver next week. It's a misunderstanding, that's all. I'll pay! You had your chance. I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dark in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you've seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand who can thread a needle. Someone like me. You are a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. 
think your men are going to stop me? No, I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done. to walk. <laughs> Gregory! Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. I should be cautious around here. I do the thinking. You do as you're told. Child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by her sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for, me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house, gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, someone extended a hand. Showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the Bolt, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt, and I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you. 